All right, in this video, I'm gonna disassemble and repair this Microsoft mouse that I have. You can see it's still sort of running. The problem I have is with the scroll wheel. Sometimes it doesn't work at all, it doesn't do anything. And then sometimes you might scroll down, but it'll bounce back up, like it's receiving bad input. So I'm gonna take it apart. I've already checked the drivers for the mouse and tried to re-download them. I've restarted Windows, I've changed the batteries, that kind of stuff. And I also checked the scroll speed in Windows, none of that helps. First thing I'm going to do is take off these little rubber sticker kind of things. I guess these rubber things probably help the mouse glide on the table or surface that you're working on. I actually don't need more glue or anything. I'm able to stick these back down again afterwards. They stayed sticky enough. And you see there's four screws under there. And those are really, really small Torx bits. So I had to bust out the eyeglass repair kit for this one. And the reason I'm taking the mouse apart is because after I've done sort of the basic steps, my assumption is that the mouse is just dirty inside and there's probably grime that's blocking the sensor for the wheel or inside of the wheel. And obviously you need to clean it and take it apart for that. I use a very small flathead screwdriver out of the eyeglass repair kit to put in between the plastic housing and just pop it apart. Comes apart pretty easy. You can see there's already some dog hair in there that I had to pull out of the wheel. And there's no additional screws for the wheel. It just sort of pops up on this model. There might be other models where it's actually screwed into it, but that's not the case here. The wheel just has little plastic wings on either side of it and those just clip into the body of the mouse. So to clean this, I'm just gonna use rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna use Q-tips. Seems to be the easiest and most effective way to do it. And all I do is put a little bit of, of the rubbing alcohol into the cap, and then I'm gonna just dip the Q-tips in there. So you can see right away, I'm gonna pull out a big chunk of dog hair that got rolled up into a dust bunny ball there. And because there's a sensor in there, things like dog hair passing in front of it could very well throw off that sensor or prevent it from working at all. So I'll also clean the sensor and just make sure there's no dirt on that as well. Again, just using the rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. Once all the parts in the mouse look like they're clean, I'll focus on the wheel. A Little bit difficult to see in this video, but it, it has quite a bit of dog hair inside of it as well. You'll see it once I sort of roll it up with the Q-tip and alcohol solution there. You can see the dog hair coming out. So obviously that's going around the circle too. And that little position sensor is going to see that dog hair and that'll probably throw off the sensor as well. So nothing too special. Just dipping the Q-tip into the alcohol, putting it into an area of the wheel where I could spin it and hopefully catch dog hair and any grime that's in there. Overall, not a lot of dirt or anything like that. It's mainly just little bits of dog hair that must have got in there and then got rolled up into the mouse wheel. So like I said, it just clips back into place. Obviously you gotta make sure it's the right way around so that everything lines up for any buttons that might also be affected. You can see this has like a left and right button for the mouse wheel. And I also take this opportunity to clean up the other parts of the mouse as well so that those don't also interfere with the functioning of the mouse. I'll then take the top of the mouse, clip it back into place, throw it in high speed here, and then I will take the four screws and screw them back in. And one thing I, I to note is the, the ones in the front of the mouse are actually smaller than the screws on the back side of the mouse. So they're not all the same size, and that's just because the thickness of the plastic is different. Once the screws are in, I'll drop some batteries in, and then I'll take those rubber pieces that cover the screws and put those back into place. And like I said, I didn't have to put any additional adhesive in there. They stuck in no problem. And there's a little bit of an indentation. So I don't imagine that they're gonna come out. Probably if you took these off two or three more times, then maybe they would lose the adhesive qualities. So instead of putting the alcohol back in the bottle, I'll just dump it on a piece of paper towel and wipe down all the grime off the mouse. Since we're a family of six, they get a little bit more dirty than a mouse with just one user. 
So moving over to the computer, I'll just quickly open up my little YouTube page here and you can see pretty easy to scroll through it. And you can see that I'm able to scroll down and back up and it's not jumping around. It doesn't stop scrolling for no reason with my uh, fingers still moving. Everything works properly. So great success getting that hair out of there seemed to do the trick. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.